in recent years, Marvel Comics have come out with a superhero series known as the Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, about a college student who has all the powers of a squirrel. In comparison with other superhero series that have very dark, heavy storylines like Spider-Man and the X-Men, the Unbeatable Squirrel Girl is very fun, light-hearted, and totally wacky, which is why it's the only superhero comic book I actually read on a regular basis. Squirrel Girl has gotten a fan following, especially from those who think that she's an excellent role model for young girls. Not only is she very independent-minded, who uses her intellect as well as her superhero scroll powers to defeat enemies, but she's also a computer science major at her college, which is great for those who are concerned about girls and women going, going into the STEM and STEAM fields in the future. If you want to learn more about the unbeatable Squirrel Girl, I suggest either getting an issue of the comic book or reading the Wikipedia entry about her. Despite her loyal fan following, Squirrel Girl has yet to appear in any major superhero feature film, nor are there any kind of spin-off toys, figures, t-shirts, and other products. The purpose of this tutorial is to show how one can take matters into your own hands by taking a Barbie doll and converting her into a Squirrel Girl action figure. I looked at other dolls that could possibly be used for this project, like Monster High and Ever After High but I found that Barbie was the best in serving as the base for a Squirrel Girl action figure. The main reason is because Barbie has the most realistic pr proportions compared to the other dolls, many of which tend to have oversized heads or anime-like features, which are ill-suited for Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl's powers make her very flexible in her movements. While some Barbie dolls tend to have stiff arms and legs, I found one particular line of Barbie dolls that I think is appropriate for this project. It's called Made to Move Barbie, and she's billed as the ultimate posable Barbie. This doll has joints throughout her doll body. I found this particular doll at Target, but it's possible that other stores carry this doll as well. You can also find this doll online at places like Amazon.com. If you're too cash-strapped to buy a new doll, you can always go to a thrift store and find used Barbies. Usually they tend to be naked with disheveled hair. That's fine because that doll will be modified, so it doesn't matter if the doll has perfect hair or not at this point. Some Barbie dolls have more joints than others, so I suggest looking at the inventory and just pick out the doll that you feel is right to customize a Squirrel Girl. As for picking out the right Barbie doll, right now you're going to pick a doll based on skin color. Don't worry about her hair or what clothes she's wearing just yet. Those issues will be covered in later videos. Squirrel Girl is depicted as a young white woman with fair skin, so you'll need to pick a light-skinned Barbie. As for eye color, it's up to you, because various artists have given Squirrel Girl various eye colors. While she is usually depicted with tiny black pupils for eyes, some artists have given her hazel eyes, brown eyes, and green eyes. Because of those inconsistencies, I personally think having the correct eye color for your doll is the least important issue. Just focus on getting a light skinned doll and you'll do fine. My next videos will focus on such things as hair color, hairstyle, and clothes. So subscribe to this channel and you won't miss them. Bye for now and have fun creating!